welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. We got a lot done yesterday in the first episode, and we're planning on getting a lot done today as well. We've got uh, quite a bit of oak wood. I spent a lot of time, as you do, crafting out the oak to be able to get started on this adventure. Uh, everything will get automated slowly but surely in the future. Should be good. The the f Kind of the first thing that I want to make, even though the sieve is possibly the most important thing, the first thing I really want to make out of this string that I'm picking up from this place is a bed so that I can sleep these nights off. Because, well, the long hard grind is potentially fun to watch. So long as I carry on doing interesting things and I'm not just standing breaking cobblestone for 16 hours, I can quickly fast forward those sort of bits. Uh, but so long as it's light enough for you to be able to see what I'm doing as well is important. So rather than going the way of the actual uh, quest book, which is tell me to get a sieve next, we're going to do the bed first and then the sieve following that. So hopefully I get enough string out of this to be able to do that. I uh, didn't. Maybe I did. 24. I should be able to get enough out of that, shouldn't I? And I also got some more silkworms out of that as well, which is cool. So eat apples. I might have to eat all of these apples just to get going. I'm starving to death. So I'm going to need three bits of wool. Everyone knows how to make a bed, right? Everybody knows how to make a bed. Easy. And there we go. Okay. First things first. Set up a bed. Sleep the nights away. So that we don't have to put up with this darkness. Darkness, I tell you. Darkness. And we're up. Awesome. Daylight. The sun arise. Alright. Well, let's take this wood as well now. So we've got to get another tree planted as fast as possible. We've got to get another silkworm in it to start infesting it as fast as possible. Got to do all the things as fast as possible over and over again to grind out a good one. Uh, we might have enough string there for other bits and pieces as well. Let's take one oak sapling. Pop that into there. There we go. Leave that around for a bit. Uh, we've got a bit of food. How's it doing? 43%. It's taking forever, mate. Forever. Uh, we've got sheep we could spawn if we wanted. I don't think I want to spawn a sheep just yet, though. Um, we can make the sieve and things like that as well. Let's let's start on that. And we've got a bit of bone meal in case that's running a bit slow. Okay, so to make a sieve, I think I need two pieces. So I'm going to actually need 18 pieces of string. So yes, it's not going to be quick enough to make the sieve. So let's just... Bang that to get... Oh, my word. Great big monstrosity of a tree. Welcome to Agrarian Skies. There you go. Have some of that, and slowly but surely you will bring me in a ton of string. That's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. I quite, I'm quite pleased with that, really. That's not too bad at all. That's good. No, no, no. Okay. Enough eating apples. Uh, we need some more wood. We're going to make barrel or two. I could do with a rain rainstorm as well. Could do with it raining. I think there's a way of getting a rain uh, a way of getting rain for a start. I think there's a way of getting rain into barrels. Let's make another couple actually because composting is an important part and the leftover string that we don't use and all of these basil bits these basil that you can't actually eat you can put into here, and it will turn into useful things. Another 24 there. Let's take this. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Full on. There we go. Composting. I may as well throw the rest away as well. They'll come in useful, I tell you. They'll come in useful. As will spare, like, saplings and other bits of biodegradable stuff. Because that turns into dirt. And dirt then becomes very useful to us. What? What happened there? It's like the oak leaves just broke away and dropped saplings instead of that because it didn't infest properly or something. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, let's take another silkworm or two then. Let's put two silkworms in it to try it from under here. 
and we'll increase the speed of which it destroys that tree by putting it in two places at once. It did kind of drop drop saplings though. That's weird. Strange. Odd. Never mind, I suppose. Never mind. Uh, yeah, right, let's see what we've got here then. So, we've made the barrel. We're going to make some cobblestone, which is sifting dirt to make cobble. Yeah, we can do that soon enough. Uh, we've got to make the oak sieve, which we get reward bag crossbow. A crossbow sorrow or pick of writing. And we've also got to make a fishing rod to unlock a load of raw salmon. Okay, well, a fishing rod is probably doable right now. I'm not sure how much fishing I'm going to actually do, but a fishing rod is doable at least. Mm -hmm. There we go. So what do we get out of this? We get half a heart or an aluminium aubrey bush. I'm going to go for the aluminium aubrey bush because I can and I will. Millstone make flour. Okay, that still cobble and that's still the sieve. And the killing the skeletons and zombies I can't do because... I lit the one area that can spawn them for now. Uh, I'll have to take that down again later. But for now, that's the one place it can. And these infested leaves should start infecting other leaves close by. Yes, they are. That's good. Cracking on. Not much food left, though. Really need to get some uh, dirt sieved soon. First bit of dirt's there. Mm -hmm. I could put the other silkworms in there and get some more string fast. But, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it, really. Let's throw this in a dark place. How about down here? It's dark enough for you? There you go. You grow down there. I'll give you some aluminium. And let's unlock another inventory slot. Awesome. That's the first one of that row done. It's quite quick to unlock the inventory slots, really, isn't it? Not too bad at all. And drop those fish off of there. I need to get these cooked and eating them quickly as really. Quickly as possible, really. Well, the tree's still getting infested. It's taking its time, yes, I know. Uh, but I am getting a bit of string out of it. We've got 19 string. That's enough to get started on this whole sieve process. Get this. Um... I'm using this as a tinker table, and that's covering up all my NEI stuff. It's really weird. Okay, we'd have this here. There we go. We get two silk meshes. Silk meshes go there. These go there and there and there. And the sticks for the legs. Our first oak sieve. And we get an achievement. Not from that one. This one. There we go. And we need to get one stone out of it. Okay, one stone. Uh, let's put the sieve just there for now. Take this one dirt that we've got and give it a quick sieve in. Should at least get dirt stone. Yeah, I got stone. There we go. So, I actually got four pieces of stone. That's cool. Okay, get that. Reward bag, crossbow or pick. Uh, crossbow or pick. Crossbow would be nice. Even though I can't use it straight away, it will be nice at least. And this one, I need to make one cobblestone, and that can be done by just crafting four stones together. Or thumb. So that's that one done. And I get to choose... Oh, I get a pig and a rainmaker. Claim the reward. Awesome. Pig and claim rainmaker. These rainmakers are pretty awesome. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to do it right now, though. I need to think about it a little bit more yet. Uh, if I place it down, it starts raining. That's basically what the Rainmaker does. Like it says on the tin, really. And I can't do pig and sheep yet because I need to breed them if I'm going to do any killing. Or at least have iron for the sheep. So we'll leave that for now as well. This crossbow, I also don't need the crossbow right now because I can't use it for anything. Pretty useless for everything it is, yes. So what we're we getting a reward bag. A demonic staff. Uh-huh, two demonic staffs. Uh, what's it going to do? Is it going to kill me? No, it's not doing anything. That's good, probably, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out what that does later. Put those away. Custom NPCs, demonic staffs. Okay, and I got two of them for some reason. Don't know why I got two of them, but okay. Let's sleep the night away. I think I should probably take away that torch and let a few... 
Um, creatures spawn fo the following night. So tomorrow night we can have an actual, actual fight with a few things. Just to make sure that that works properly for me. Uh, anything else to eat? I'm starting to get hungry again. I've got one piece of cobblestone. So I really need to get some more materials siphoned off down here. Let's leave ourselves, what, four saplings? I've got two saplings there. One sapling there, technically. There we go. Let's fill this barrel up here. And this barrel up here. Get some more stuff to start sieving. And I just have to sieve a load of stuff. Make a cobblestone uh, thing to start working on. Well, basically cooking some food for myself. I'm getting all this down. So, as this is mostly infested, I'm going to bring it down now. Well, I'm not short on wood and string supplies anymore, that's for sure. I got quite a lot of string. as a stack and a bit of string. And uh, a good amount of wood as well. So we're, we're looking okay on that result there. The string has other uses, but mostly it's about uh, being able to sift it in here as well. Because I can sift string a lot better. So let's see what we get from the sieve for this time. And again. More stone. Yes, good. So that's now three bits. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see where we're up to in the quest now. We've got a um, bucket of clay. Or a clay. Well, that means that I need to make a hammer. So we can quickly make one of those. And so many chests and not enough things going into them. There we go. Put that in there. Uh, a hammer. A hammer, a hammer, a hammer. I think I remember making a hammer before. Basically like this. And I'm going to make the first one a stone. You could make it with wooden planks as well. But I'm going to make the first one a stone hammer. Uh, because I'm going to end up doing lots of sieving and stuff. So it should be okay. And we're going to hammer this down here. And then we're going to hammer this down here. And then we're going to hammer this down here. And we end up with a dust. The dust. The Echnohedio dust. The dust from crash landing. Yes, the crash landing dust. And we're going to have to put that into one of these with water in it. But it's not raining right now. So let's get a rain job on. Let's make it rain. Let's go. Boom. Rain, baby, rain. Oh, yes. I can pick this straight back up again, I think. Yeah, there we go. And that will fill these barrels up with water. While it's doing that... Well, actually, while it's doing that, let's put that away. While it's filling those with water so we can make our clay, to make our clay thingies. Uh, this... Oh, man. Um, the road. The one piece of road. Uh, I can jump down here. There we go. Uh, it's kind of a slippery surface, isn't it? So I'm not touching it. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere near it. People fall off the road on the Agrarian Skies 1. I never actually saw it happen myself, but I know it happened. So I'm getting rid of that as soon as possible as well. And if we can put that into there out of the way. Now the rain's not going to stop until I sleep. And I can't sleep during the day. So we're stuck with it, folks. Hope you like it. Hope you like rain. And there goes my axe. Need a repair job. And there we go, another tree. Okay, and I wanted to remove that torch to get a few kills on the night as well. I could do with having the ability to... Uh, oh, there's two more bits of dirt there. I could do with having the ability to cook some food first as well, before I start doing that to get my hunger sorted out. There we go, what have we got? Nine, that gives us two more. That's good. Okay, two more cobble. I'm going to need a lot more cobble before I can advance too far. Uh, is that full now? Nearly full. 98, 99, 100. Throw a dust in there. Get the clay back out and pop. There we go. So now we get another sheep. Porcelain clay or bones. Well, porcelain clay I think is going to be the best for me. Let's do that. And hammer time. Make a wooden hammer. Make a wooden hammer and I get all sorts of cool stuff. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, I'll make a I'll make a wooden hammer then. Fine, Jaded. I will make a wooden hammer just for you, my love. There you go. Now I made a wooden hammer. Gravel, done that. Sand, done that. Dust, done that. Get all these rewards. And I'm going to claim some more clay. Okay. And mossy repair. Ball of moss. I can make mossy stone somehow, can I? 
Useful several things, blah, blah, blah. Requires a barrel of water sitting on cobblestone. And a lot of waiting. Eventually the water will leak out and the moss will grow on the cobble. Okay, well. Let's, uh, let's see about that then, shall we? Throw those away for now. So, we got to put this barrel... Let's take this barrel up. Okay, and cobble with a barrel on the top full of water. And it stopped raining. Okay, fine. Let's make it sleep time. And awake. Thank you. Cool. Pick up all the pieces. I'm throwing most of this stuff away, I think, now. Most of this stuff is going to end up going into making more dirt. Like, as long as I've got three, I should think the rest can just go into barrels. This barrel's going to take a little while. Maybe if if I cut this one out, let's try that. Let's try putting this under here. And then turning this into mossy cobble. Rather than that one. And then this one can be my um, bin for dumping stuff in. There we go. And get this stuff from over here as well. Throw all the herbs in. That's it. 25% done. There we go. Basil away. There we go. Um, put signs and the porcelain clay is useful in a bit. Dust, sand, gravel. We can unlock all those kind of things, but I still need dirt to make stone, I believe. Still need dirt to make stone, I believe. Mm hmm. Still no sign of food or mobs. So let's let's disarm this torch. Remove this torch for the following night. I'm already fed up of not eating, but I've got to wait for things to process. And zombie flesh is another thing that I can process. So, so long as we don't get really super bad mobs that I can't handle, then uh, we should be okay. What will happen is they'll jump off and they'll take a bit of damage anyway. So we should be all right to start off with. And let's put this just there for now. Hey, an apple. Let's eat. eat something lovely. Thank you. So when it's night time again, we should be okay there. This does seem to be taking a very long time. Yeah, This still needs more materials in it. What can I put in it now? Uh, well, there's 20 saplings in there. Those don't need to be in there for anything, do they? Let's fill that up. Pop them away again. Uh, there's quite a few saplings. That's good. And that's composting. That's doing that. Okay, well, we'll take another little break. Another short break while things grow. Uh, oh, a bit of lettuce. Yum, yum. Uh, let things grow, let things mature, all in their own good time. There's no sense using the bone meal just to try and speed it up as fast as possible for now. Um, it's a, a new day, so we've got the rest of the day just to let things grow, let things change, do a bit more composting and bits, and I'll be back in a bit. Everything's been growing a bit. I've got a few bits of dirt. I've been making as much stone as I possibly can. I need to get to the point of a cobblestone gen uh, faster, really. I've got three cobble at the minute. I can make uh, this porcelain clay into something. So I may as well make that now. I know I can make this crucible. And I think the crucible starts off with just needing a torch underneath it. And did there was there a torch in here? Uh, yes, there's a torch in here. Can I break it? Can I break these covers with this? Oh, I can break it that way. Okay. All right. And can I get up there to get the torch out? Aha! Give me the torch. Thank you. It's an awesome place for a torch. By no means is it not an awesome place for a torch. But I also need to do something with this. And I think... Uh, let's see. Can I take this out? I can't even break this stuff yet, can I? Let's put that there. Can I put this against it? There. Okay. I think that's enough to start it off, at least. I think that's enough to start it off. To get lava, we need to put cobble into there. But I also need a furnace, and that's the thing that's taking me the longest right now, is getting to the furnace stage. But hopefully with a few zombies and stuff spawning today, should be okay. Yeah. Oh, it's unfired as well, isn't it? Dang. This is unfired. I need, I need to fire it first. 
So I need that coal. Oh, man, I need that furnace. I need that furnace bad, like, don't I? I had a bit of a sort out of things around here as well, just to tidy things up a bit. Come on, mobs. Be spawning, would you? Uh, options. So the achievement we've got. Options. It's on normal difficulty. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Who do you think you are? Come on, get some. If you think you're hard enough. Aha! There's a skelly coming down. At least that's something. So first victim. Out. Monster Hunter achievement yet. <laughs> yay! 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 Are we on uh, dark brightness as well? We need to turn this up. Yeah, moody. Let's turn it all the way up. And here comes creepers. And more skellies. I want a zombie as well. That'd be nice. And uh, let's catch this loot as it comes down here. Come on then. Come on then. You come down. That's it, creeps. You come and look at me. You co you can see me. I can see you. You can see me. Come and get some. Come get some. Come on. Walk off the edge. That's all you have to do. Just walk off the edge. And what's that there? There's two creepers. Come on, creeps. Walk off the edge. Gonna do some of this while I'm waiting then. I should be able to hear them drop. They make an awful little clang as they hit the ground. A little squashy feet on the creepers and a little bit of broken bones on the skellies. Aha, there's one. Our next target. Okay. There we go. Haha. -ha. And creeper. I don't actually want you around at all. Thank you. Get all this stuff. I'm looking for zombies. Why are there no zombies spawning? Aha! You're there, zombie. Uh, you're not a zombie. You've turned into a... a somebody. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Come around here. That's it. Have it. Give me all your bits. There we go. It's a good way to get some more bones, at least, as well. Come on. Who are you? Milby? Who is it? Come on, down here, would you? Can we get me? I don't want to go up there because they spawn more regularity if I'm down here. Watching them. Come on. Come on, you get me. Uh, and I'm running short on food again. And do, do, do. let's just put some string in here. Let this start decomposing while we're waiting. There we go. Alright. And the food hasn't grown yet. The lettuce is only 57%. Aha, creeper. You stink. Oh, I got a creeper head. Can I put the creeper head in somewhere as well? Can I put the creeper head in this? Can I uh, decompose the creeper head? I don't know. Uh, let's put the creeper head up uh, here. No, on there. Yeah, that'll do for now. Yeah, that'll do. Come on then. Aha, who's that? Come on, Milby. Come and take it. Come and get me if you really want. Down you go, Milby. And Skelly. Bang. You're down as well. Come on, zombies. Where are the zombies? I think the zombies are turning into other YouTubers. I'm getting attacked by other YouTubers. My word. Who's that now? I don't recognise that outfit. I don't recognise that skin. Come down here, whoever you are. I want to find out who you are that I'm going to kill. Aha, here we go. Let's get some of this. A piece of zombie flesh off those, at least. Here he comes. Who is this? Who's that? It's Zisto. That wasn't Zisto. He had a mask on. Zisto doesn't wear a mask, does he? Zisto doesn't wear a mask. When did Zisto start making a wax? Wearing a mask? I can't remember. But it worked. <laughs> but anyway. We get all of the raw materials we can possibly get during the night by killing some zombies and that. And then I'll go back up there and I'll put the torch back up again afterwards. We don't want to have the torch stopping the zombies from spawning when we could be using all of the goodies that we get from zombies. Uh, and the skellies and the creepers and all that. All of it's useful for sieving purposes. Uh, I need to get as much dirt together as I can. So all of this can go in there. Fill that up. Uh, yep, put that in there, there we go. Let that decompose. I should probably have more barrels. But then I'd run out of more uh, things to decompose, wouldn't I? So, kind of split purpose there. 
get that in there. And the arrows I can't use until I've got a bow. So, there we go. Right, well. Did I get another sapling I can plant? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's plant another sapling down here. Let this grow slowly but surely. There we go. Uh, did I get a zombie kill off Milby or Zisto? Um, that one? Ah, oh, no, I didn't. Come on, zombie. I need to kill you to get a reward. So come down here. Or I'll have to come and get you. Um, he's not coming down, is he? I'm desperate to get these rewards, aren't I? So desperate, I'm going to risk myself dying to get him. Ah, there he goes. That's a baby. Does that count as a zombie? In the HQM? I don't know if it does. Oh, he gave me a potato. Awesome. Thanks, little man. Thank you. Daddy's still up there, though. Daddy's still there. Daddy's still there. But did it count? Yes, it did. All right, I'm going to claim the reward bag because I don't really need the pot. That gives me two cows and a full heart. That's why that was so important to get so soon. Yeah. Uh, flour. Yeah. Don't need to worry about that just yet. But a potato, an actual full potato, it's pretty awesome. A potato seeds and two spawn eggs for cows. That means I've got sheep and cows available to me. I could start eating meat. I just need to set up a place, an area to grow them in. But we get around to that as well. And give me this and put that zombie flesh in there out the way. Thank you. And see what we get today. I just need to make a, the furnace for the first time. That's a first start. All of this automating of stuff needs to happen so fast. So fast. And it's soon be day. Awesome. Let's get a reward bag on the go. What we got? An angry doll to spawn a blaze. I don't think I want to spawn a blaze right now. Thank you. That can go in the not today, sir, box. And you're going to die if you don't hurry up and get down here. Okay. You're going to hurry up. You gonna come down? You gonna come down and play? Come on. Come on. Don't make me come up and knock you off. It's gonna burn. You're gonna burn. Let me get to him, let me get to him, let me give it to him. I wanna get to him. Yes! Oh creeper! Man, that was so close. I did not know that a creeper had spawned up here. Ooh. How did I not die? How did I not die from that? Maybe I was just one block away. Just one block far enough. Man, that could have gone so wrong, couldn't it? That could have gone so wrong. And now I've got minor fatigue, slowness, weakness, and all sorts going on here. Why so many problems, man? Why so many problems? And i got nothing I can eat, really, apart from some maybe raw fish. Let's... Let's eat some raw salmon just to stop the ill effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, man. Eating raw fish just to survive. I've heard of worse ways. This is the way you can survive out at sea. If you're stranded on your own out at sea, you can do that. Um, what have I got left to grind? I've got 18 string. I suppose that's the only thing I can put in here. It's just a slow and steady process now. Got to wait for trees to grow so I can put their materials in here. Wait for mobs to spawn so I can put their materials in here as well. Uh, let's take five saplings and pop some saplings in there. There we go. Turn that into wood for me. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've got to do a little bit more grinding and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Hope you're enjoying. Please leave that like button. Uh, lots of love. And I will get back to you very soon with another episode. Uh, after doing a little more grinding out of the basic resources to get us to the next stage, baby. Next stage.